The morning is the period that marks the rest of your day, including your diet scheme. Morning determines if you eat something heavy or something light, including the calories you will consume during the day, or their storage if that's the case. In this video, we will give you scientific evidence that your habits can cause imbalance, which in turn causes you extra weight gain. But before continuing, do subscribe to our channel and hit the bell notification icon. That way you can receive more useful videos right here on Fit Fat Factor. Do stay until the end of the video and you might be surprised. Yep, it. Relax! So, bad habit number five is refusing to eat a good breakfast. Scientists from the University of Tel Aviv, Israel, have shown that a good breakfast and a light dinner can have a shocking result. You would be surprised how this diet can have much more impact on weight loss than other popular diets based on several light and frequent meals. It was shown that a breakfast with high energy helps people with diabetes, since this way of eating decreases the use of insulin. This study consisted of two groups of 18 men and 11 women. Both suffered from type 2 diabetes and obesity. They were divided into two groups, the first one having the B diet. This was a breakfast-heavy diet where they had a substantial breakfast, a moderate lunch, and a light dinner. The second group ate the so-called 6M diet, which was a traditional diet for weight loss. The idea of this diet was to have six light foods during the day, including free snacks. After three months of dieting, group B lost 11 pounds, and at the same time, group 6M lost only 3 pounds. This is very important because during the day, your metabolism changes a lot, and it is better to consume the most calories in the morning because your metabolism is at its highest then. The conclusion here is that you should never refuse a high-calorie breakfast. And for your lunch, it should be medium and your dinner light. Bad habit number four is not walking in the sun. I didn't say that. The sun is literally burning a category of fat known as white fat. This is considered bad fat because it is the fat accumulating the calories. Ideally, you burn these calories for energy but white fat accumulates and transforms into obesity, diabetes, and cardiovascular disease. According to the University of Alberta in Canada, this white fat is reduced by sun exposure. The cause of this is that the UV rays of the sun penetrate the skin and reach the white fat and help diminish it. After this, the drops of fat become smaller and release out of the cells. In other words, when you expose yourself to the sun for a longer period, your cells reduce the accumulation of fat. This is a great discovery and partly explains why people gain weight during the winter, when their sun exposure can be a lot more limited. However, considering that staying in the sun for a long time is not such a great idea either, you should apply this advice with a bit of moderation. Bad habit number three is forgetting to drink a glass of water when getting up. The human body is made up of 60% water. An interesting fact is that adult men have more water in their body than adult women. It is also shown that overweight people have less water in the body than thin people. This is because of the overall percentage of water they have in their system. In the morning, when you get up, your body is dehydrated due to the lack of water during sleep. Drinking a glass of water is a great idea. Even if you're not thirsty, your body does need it. By drinking two glasses of water in the morning, your body gets hydrated and your digestive system works a lot better. Drinking water also speeds up the metabolism, which in turn decreases the possibility of accumulating fat. Finally, by drinking two 8-ounce glasses of water, you can also lower your body fat from up to 17% down to 10%. <laughs> Bad habit number two is you don't exercise. In addition to burning calories, exercising in the morning can also decrease your appetite. A study conducted in 2013 and published in the British Journal of Nutrition revealed some shocking results. The study showed that people who exercised in the morning had the ability to eat less during the day. They didn't feel the need to consume the extra calories and compensate for their activity during the morning. 
The explanation is all about getting up and exercising on an empty stomach. The people who do not exercise in the morning try to reduce their stress by eating instead. The study has shown that people who exercise on an empty stomach are 20% more effective at losing weight than when exercising during the day. Finally, bad habit number one is that you underestimate the help of your pets. Your dog can be a great companion during your walks or jogging sessions in the morning. And even a cat can make your stretches or yoga much more relaxing and fun. Studies on people show that those who exercise with their pets can control their weight a lot easier. These people are also more committed to not missing their training. At the same time, the communication with your pet, caring for it, gives a positive feeling that reduces the level of stress, which otherwise you might replace by eating instead. So, let's see if any of you are morning people or night owls. If you don't have any difficulty getting up before sunrise, do press the like button. And if there is nothing better for you than staying in bed until noon, leave a comment below and say what would be your favorite morning activity. We definitely hope you enjoyed these methods of maintaining your weight. And if you're interested, I can tell you our morning activities. Don't forget subscribing to our channel, and until next time, stay healthy!